Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to How To Factions Episode 9. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little more simple, nothing complex or anything like that. We're just going to be doing a small cannoning tutorial, because uh, a lot of you guys have been asking in the recent episodes if I can do a tutorial on how to build the corner cannon that I used on Vanguard in uh, one of my episodes, and uh, I haven't really done it, uh, even though you guys have been asking, so I decided... I needed to do a how-to factions episode soon, and uh, this is the time, so let's get started straight into it. Uh, first of all, this cannon shouldn't be too hard to make. Pretty much anybody can do it. You shouldn't really even need me to explain it. But uh, for the noobs out there, I will explain it and show you guys exactly how it works. So we're going to go ahead and test this bad boy. I'll show you how to make it after. But we're going to go ahead and fire it like so. And uh, you'll see it working in just a sec. So boom, it blows it up. Obviously, you're not gonna probably not gonna be using this on like a cobblestone non-watered base. I guess if you don't want to shoot a full 20 chunk buffer to scatter into someone's base, you could use this. But the main use that I use this thing for, I uh, haven't really had to use this thing in a long while. A lot of people on Extronus have kind of learnt um, how to defend against it and stuff like that, especially after my one Vanguard video. Vanguard in particular learnt. So we're gonna go ahead and water it, and as you can see, the corners aren't watered. So if you guys don't know already, you can scatter the corner if they don't have their corners protected. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to wait for the water to flow down. And then we'll go ahead and fire and I'll show you guys what exactly this thing is for. So I'm actually going to take some ticks off this. Uh, like so. There we go. So I'm just going to wait another second or so and let's fire. So it's going to go ahead and fire like so. And about 3, 2, 1 and we are in. So now we're just going to add probably just another shot. We don't really need to add another delay. Once we get in, it, I guess we could add a little bit more delay and uh, start screwing with things. So as you can see, we're in. Uh, I may add a little bit more delay so it will like fling around and stuff like that. But you guys get the point. Uh, this thing is probably the best you can probably use, I guess, when it comes to uh, corner cannoning. See, rip. Just look at that. You could have gotten pretty much all their loot from that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to make it, so let's get started and straight into it. So, let me start getting all the supplies. So, I'm going to use quartz, because it looks sexy. Uh, I'm going to use a button, um, water, and redstone, and that's pretty much everything you need, uh, except for some slabs. So, pretty much what you want to do, you want to go ahead and you want to mark out kind of where you want your propulsion. And once you've done that, you just want to make it as high as you want, depending on how far you're going to be shooting. I'm just going to make it four high, because that's kind of the standard I like to do. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and kind of just put dispensers like so. Uh, just have them kind of in front like this. And let me get some sexy glass just to make this thing look nice. Actually, I want grey. There we go. So once you have your dispensers in this formation, you usually want to go ahead and you want to put some... Just some glass here. It doesn't have to be glass, but it can be like any block. Uh, I'm not. I usually put slabs like this as well. I'm not sure if that is 100% needed, but I, I just do it like that. Uh, so once you've done that, you want to go ahead and you want to start wiring up your propulsion. So you want to place the quartz blocks or whatever the type of blocks you're using, like so. And you want to go ahead and place a repeater here and a repeater here. Of course you can actually use a uh, redstone torch method, but I just didn't make it like this, so uh, if you guys know how to use redstone torches and stuff like that, go ahead and use them, because uh, this kind of will work pretty much the same with redstone torches. I'll show you guys like another version after. But once you've done that, you want to just keep hooking all this up. Doesn't really matter how it's hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and put a button there, and that is the propulsion. So once you've done the propulsion, you want to kind of go ahead Make your way and... Oops, did not mean to break that. I'll just leave it. It's not really affecting anything. You want to make your way kind of kind of like a little staircase just to go up there. And you want to wrap it around and connect it to this thing here. So you want to go ahead and place one repeater, two repeater, three repeaters, and the comparator. You can add a little bit more delay by just extending the pathway, I guess. But this thing doesn't have the biggest room to put a lot of repeaters and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just making it nice and small and compact for now. And if you're corner cannon, you shouldn't need more than three full repeaters. Uh, it, usually not shooting in exactly the most far distance, I guess you could say. So it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. So now you just want to go ahead like that and uh, hook this up to here and water it. And you're pretty much done. Like, it is honestly 
one of the simplest cannons to make. It is not a hard cannon at all. Uh, it's really freaking simple, actually. So let me just quickly break that first. And there we go. So let's go DT20 TNT 1000. Let me take some of this delay off. And is it watered? Did I water it? Nope, I did not water it. What happened? Oh, wait, I did. I just couldn't see it. My bad. Uh, also, if you guys can put, like, some comments down below, I've been kind of having some troubles when it comes to uh, not knowing on what to record on Extronus at the moment. Like, I've been doing a lot of base stuff lately, and I'm not sure exactly what to record. There isn't many raids at the moment. It, there's not much to do, and if you guys have any opinions or just ideas on what I could do, that would be muchly appreciated and uh, mean a lot to me. And also the Q&A, oh boom, there we go, that's how we go. And uh, the corner cannon is working, nice and simple tutorial, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to go check out the Q&A, uh, my 2000 subscriber Q&A, because it had probably just go live around this time, just depending on whether I get it edited or not tonight. But uh, if it's not up around this time, it'll be up the next day. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, and goodbye.